Hey everybody, this is Yvette from Yvette Marie's Fine Arts and Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy half double crochet newborn size hat beanie. You can add um, ears or a pom pom or something to make it even cuter but this is just a simple pattern just for the hat itself today. We're going to be working with a half double crochet so if you're not familiar with how to do a half double crochet you can check out my YouTube channel and I do have a video on there on how to do half double crochet stitch and you're also going to be using the magic circle or magic loop to create the beginning portion of this with an adjustable um, string that pulls it really nice and tight so you may want to check out my YouTube channel if you're not familiar with how to do the magic circle or magic loop either and today I'm going to be using one of my favorite yarns which is the Yarn B Soft Secret. It just has a really nice silky soft sheen to it and it's great for baby's skin, nice and soft against baby's skin. Compared to some of the really inexpensive um, cheaper yarns that tend to be more scratchy in my opinion and they just don't look as nice either. And you'll also need a size K crochet hook for today's project a yarn needle for finishing off and a pair of scissors. So today's newborn size hat uh, is going to be approximately 12 inches wide when we're finished which is perfect for a newborn, average newborn size baby and it's going to be, this particular hat I made about 7 inches long from uh, the center all the way down to the end of the brim when it's fold it out straight. I left about an inch to an inch and a half extra um, for folding up on the edge of the um, on the edge of the hat. So it is a little bit extra long. You could always change colors at the end or something if you want to make the rim um, a different color and a corresponding you know fun color or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started if you want to get your um, yarn and your hook and so forth together. I'll meet you back here in just a minute. So let's get started. So if you're a newbie um, for this hat, you'll want to check out my tutorials, on, my video tutorials on my YouTube channel on how to work a um, half double crochet stitch and how to work the magic circle or magic loop to begin your hat in, um, in this process. So we're going to leave about a six or eight inch tail. Again, I'm using a size K crochet hook and this is a newborn size hat and we're going to create the magic circle. I'm going to chain two which will count as my first half double crochet and then I'm going to half double crochet 11 total including the chain two into the center of my circle. So there's my second one. Now usually with my magic circle, I'll leave my loop over to the left. I am right-handed as you see. I'll leave my loop, my tail over to the left just for the first two. So I'll do my um, chain two, my first half double crochet. Then I'll move the tail to the right-hand side and I'll work the rest of my, whoops, the rest of my half double crochets into the center of the circle. And the reason is it's just easier to close it. If you leave the tail around the circle as you're working all your stitches around the circle, it becomes a little more difficult to pull that tail. They kind of get stuck sometimes underneath those stitches. So that was my third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oops, and eleven. So I'm just going to count my stitches now and make sure that there's eleven there. And again, you'll notice I just pulled my tail like this here and it closed the circle for the most part. Um, 
like this, my loop. So including the stitch I have on my crochet hook here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So that is what I want. My eleventh is the top of the chain two here. I'm just gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain two on my eleventh stitch and I'm going to chain two to begin my next row. The second row I'm going to place two half double crochets in each of the stitches around to the end including this very 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 last stitch right here which I don't always use for the pattern and I won't use for the majority of the pattern but for the first couple rows I'm actually going to use that last little tiny stitch there where you'll see my chain two coming out of. So just for newbies I'm going to go ahead and move forward with this um, advanced crocheters. You may just want to go ahead and double crochet two in the first one and the same one and all the way around to the end including that last one there and then go ahead and count your stitches and you should have 22. So double crochet one in that first one because you already have your chain two or excuse me half double crochet I'm sorry and half double crochet two and all each of the chains around to the end. Advanced crocheters, I do apologize, I'm just going to go a little bit slow for some of the newbies. I'd like everybody to be able to complete these patterns. It's kind of fun to be able to have something that you can accomplish even when you're first starting out. I know I did when I was a beginner anyway. Okay, so we're just continuing around the edge. Two half double crochets in every single chain at the top around the edges. Okay, now, just to be clear, this is the last one here that I don't normally use, this little area here. In this case, I'm going to put two in that spot for this row and the next row. And then the rest of the pattern, I'm not going to actually use that one last, very, very, very last stitch to, um, for my pattern. Just these first couple rows I will. Okay, so we've got our first row done and now we just completed our second row and if you count around the edge you'll find that you'll have 22 stitches around the edge. Okay, So now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of our chain two that we had at the beginning and it will be your first one that looks like a chain here so you're just going to slip stitch into the top there, the front and the uh, back yarn your yarn through and through the one on your um, and through the one on your hook and then we're gonna chain two again. We're basically going to repeat this last row that we just did the second row by placing two in every single one around again including that very very last one so that we'll have 44 half double crochets. So we have our chain two we're going to half double crochet one in that very very first one right next to the chain two and in each one around we're going to place two half double crochets and I'll just show a couple here for the beginners and then I'll pause the video and finish the row and skip to the end okay so you'll see get two in each one. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and finish around the edge, putting two in each one, I'll meet you back at the end, just for the beginners to show you how to place that one stitch in the end again, okay? I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so I'm almost done with my row. I've got two stitches, or two um, chains left to work into. So I've got this one here, and then this one that's kind of hard to define that we're going to work into. For this is the last row, we're going to actually use that particular very 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 last 
chain to work into, so I'm going to work two into that one. And now I'm going to have 44. So now I'm going to, and that will include this one here. So now I'm going to, on my the beginning of the row, I had my chain two, and the top of my chain two is right here. I'm going to slip stitch again into the top of that one, and I'm going to chain two again. Now at this point, you can tie off this. So let's go ahead and tie that off. Give me just a second here. I'm going to just pull this loop open so we don't lose it. And I'm just going to tie this off, pull it really tight so that it closes that hole nice and tight there. And then we're just going to tie a couple knots as close to the fabric as we can. Pull. Do a second, I usually do a second one over that so that knot doesn't just slip through that little hole. Even though it's tiny, sometimes it can pull through. Do a second knot over the first one. Now we'll leave that to the end. In the end I'm going to take a, my yarn needle and stitch it in and um, then chop it off and cover it up a little bit better. Okay, so the rest of this pattern is going to be really easy. The rest of the pattern is going to basically just be single, or excuse me, half double crocheting one stitch in each one around this time we're not going to include that really, really last one here that is attached to our chain two. We're going to just work up to this one here. Of course, uh, you might want to count your stitches just to make sure you have 44 again. But we're just going to work for the rest of the pattern. We'll work one half double crochet in that first stitch that's right next to your chain two. And then in each consecutive chain around, or stitch if you want to call it, you'll just work one half double crochet in each one all the way around to the end. So go ahead and work uh, one half double crochet all the way around to the end and I'll meet you back at the end Great. of this row. So I just wanted to meet you back here at the end for some of the newbie crocheters who are using this um, video for this hat. And I've got a few stitches left. You'll see for the first two rows, I would actually have four stitches left. I would have one, two, three, and then that last one we worked into here, which is kind of hidden. But in this case, and for the rest of the rows, I'm not going to be using that like I mentioned before. So I'm just going to work one half double crochet into each of these last three real stitches or chains. And that last one there that I used for the first two, I'm going to not use that one now or for the rest of the pattern. So now I'm going to actually slip stitch into the top like we did before, the top of the chains. You'll have that first half double crochet or at the top of the chain actually, uh, top of your um, chain two, I'm sorry. You'll have that stitch there and we'll just slip stitch. It's catching a little slip stitch into that one and then we'll chain two again. So now we've got one, two, three, and four rows, including the first row, which I count is, um, as the magic circle or magic loop as my first row, second, third, and fourth. So we're going to work 17 more rows in the same fashion that I just worked that last row, which is just placing one half double crochet in every single chain around, including just this first one that's right next to your chain two that you just created, which is right here, and then in every single one around. And you can just repeat the same pattern for 17 more rows. And then what I'll do is I'll meet you guys back here at the end of the 17 more rows, which will be a total of 21 rows. Um, actually, I might meet you back here in just a few rows for the newbies, just so you can see how the hat starts to form. So go ahead and work a few rows, and then maybe pause your video, four or five rows, and then pause your video, and then just come back here, and I'll show you how the hat's going to start actually um, curling over and forming that closure. 
I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you guys. Um, here's 10, or excuse me, 11 rows. And you'll see how once you start doing the single crochets, it's no longer expanding um, outward. So now it's going to start, it starts actually curving and create, or excuse me, the um, uh, individual half double crochets, not single crochets. Um, once you start doing the individual half double crochets in each of the chains, it stops expanding and now it starts actually curving into the ha uh, shape of the hat. Okay, so you've got 10 more rows to go. Um, go ahead and work your 10 more rows and I'll meet you back at the end um, on, for the newbies especially just on how to finish your hat off. I'll see you soon. Okay, so we have um, finished up to 21 rows of our half double crochet for our newborn size baby hat. Now I made this pattern a little bit um, extra long so that you can fold over the edge for the brim here. Um, normally a newborn hat's about five and a half to six inches or so long if you want just a plain hat. So this one here is seven. And normally with a newborn hat you're going to go somewhere between like 11, 11 and a half up to like 13 inches wide. This one here starts off at 12, so 6 inches and then folded in half so it's 12 inches wide. So it should be plenty large enough for a newborn. It might even fit a little bit bigger. Um, babies, just depending on how little your newborn is when your baby's born. This is just kind of a standard newborn size. So let's go ahead and finish our hat. And we've completed the 21 rows. And so, I'm just going to cut, um, I don't know, about a six or eight inch tail here. And I've still got, um, I just finished by slip stitching the last stitch like we do with every row. And now I'm just going to pull the tail through it like this here. And then I'm going to grab my yarn needle. I'm just going to go inside here just going to pull this tight. You don't want it to be falling apart or anything loose, so I'm just going to pull this a little bit. Then I usually go into that first little stitch right below. This is, um, this is my last stitch here. I'm just going to find this little piece of yarn here. Go into that one. And then I usually go into it twice. I double over it. That way it doesn't loosen. And then I'll just go up an inch or two inside the hat by going in finding some of these little stitches here and just not real tight but just a little bit loosely and gently just go into a few of the stitches up. Now since this one has a brim, I'm going to go just a little bit farther so it doesn't show from the outside. Um, since this one has a fold, room to be folded over, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the hat before I cut. So I think that's good. We've gone in almost three inches or so. Now some people will just cut their yarn at this point. I'm really not a fan of just chopping the yarn. I really do like to um, put a couple knots in here to make this um, more secure so the hat doesn't start unweaving. So I like to pull a nice tight knot there and then double over it really closely 
and then pull really, really tight. And then carefully snip, leaving just a really tiny tail inside there. A little close, I guess we could have gone farther, but so there you go. So there's just a simple um, half double crochet pattern for a newborn size hat. And you can um, add things like little ears or something like that. If you have a pattern for ears, you can add little ears or a pom pom or something like that to enhance it and make it even cuter. Hope this was an easy video for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.